good morning those who are appearing for uh, judicial uh, district municipal Com- judicial magistrate exam as well as public prosecution assistant public pro- examination must aware that apart from indian penal code indian evidence act and crpc there are criminal minor acts uh, this book contains criminal minor acts uh, but uh, 156 important acts and rules are here the major thing uh, you must understand uh, today i will take you to essential commodity act this was act uh, uh, enacted in the year 1955 the reason for this act is to provide uh, interest of the general public for the control of production, supply and distribution of trade, commerce in certain commodities. So what shall be the certain commodities should be, uh, says, otherwise required. They say put crops, all definitions are there. These all are not important. Uh, they, they say essential commodity declaration. For the purpose of this act, essential commodity means commodity specified in the schedule. Then they have to add, remove, they can do it. So if suppose onion become very uh, scarce, then they may include onion also as an essential commodity. If suppose uh, onion is being produced surplus, then they may remove it. This is most important. Then they can also control produ- production, supply, distribution. These all are the most important. You go through these all provisions. The what, how the uh, uh, punishment class is initiated is this is called uh, attempts and abatement. The, the punishment class says uh, when there is a uh, there was a provision for confiscation of essential commodity also and uh, you see uh, how to frame charge 7 section 7 uh, is most important. What section 7 reads, you should uh, understand. Then only essential commodity act. They say, so section 7 of the essential commodity act. If any person contravenes any order made under section 3, order should be made as to control the essential commodity and a particular commodity should be listed in the schedule. That is a major requirement for section 3. If anybody contravention, then there shall be a penalty. So charges will be 7, uh, uh, 1, class 1, 2, 3, all these things are there. How to frame charges has also been described in the act itself. This is most important. Then section 8 says, 9 says appeal, abatement, conspiracy, all these things. Now I will take you a judgment uh, which will help you to understand uh, the uh, exercise of essential commodity act to prosecution. This is AAR 2023 Supreme Court 1588. AAR 2023 Supreme Court 1588. Avatar Singh versus State of Punjab. Here the person, the accused seems to have uh, sold a uh, LPG gas cylinders in black market. So the police, sub-inspector of police uh, seized it and uh, he was charged under section 7. Uh, then he was uh, 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 fined. Trial court or judgment director to undergo imprisonment for a period of 6 months along with the fine. This is what when I had happened 1997. Then the judgment has been now Supreme Court has delivered on 23 3 23. 
then they say sub inspector of police have no power to seize or investigate or arrest whatever it may be therefore they say entire prosecution is not uh, uh, sustainable in law uh, when a power uh, is given to do certain thing in a certain way the thing must be done in that way or not the whole other methods are necessarily forbidden then they have referred one uh, 2019 judgment of in the absence of authority and power with the sub inspector to take action as per the order proceedings initially will be totally unauthorized have to be struck down so they struck down the case that means he was released freely after 1997 in between 1997 2023 would have sold at least 10 to 50 lakhs of the cylinders in black market okay then you must also understand the 1981 1981 essential commodity special provision act it's an uh, amendment additional amendment uh, it an act to make certain special provision by of amendment here section 10 aa was introduced section 10 aa was introduced therein they authorized rank of an officer in charge of the police station or any police authorized by in this way of uh, in writing shall arrest any person accused of committing an offence punishable under this act here they have allowed him. the offences are available and unbe- like uh, ndps section 37 here section 12 aa is applicable uh, there they say the uh, without giving notice oppose the application he should not be released on the uh, arrested accused should not be released on bail then again they say when prosecution opposes the application the special court is satisfied that there are uh, there appears reasonable ground for believing that he has been guilty of the offence this is what uh, <coughs> uh, then they subsequently uh, below age of 16 years woman or sick or inform person the court may release him on bail all these things uh, you can go through this but uh, what i would like to say if the if you are answering the question for uh, more marks uh, 10 mark 15 mark then if you, if any question was uh, asked under section 37 the imp- uh, impediment in granting bail in ndps case you can also refer this uh, essential commodity act 1981 amendment uh, wherein section 12a also having similar provisions then you can compare with this that uh, what all are the provisions of uh, releasing uh, the other persons in form women sick are being released that that was not also not available in section 37 if if, if they have asked the question under section of our essential commodity act you can very well say so 1955 essential commodity act was amended in the year 1981 where special courts were initiated and special powers were given to police officers so this judgment since the, uh, uh, the the occurrence seems to have happened in the year 1997 uh, how this uh, uh, judgment uh, was pronounced uh, stating that the police officer has got no authority probably uh, I, i must go through that and because i it is my duty to clarify that i cannot leave you blindly about this see the thing was the day, time of occurrence must be Uh, this is 1988 uh, the occurrence seems to have 95 if it is section it is the offenses are uh, 95 then this uh, essential commodity act uh, 1981 amendment why was not referred i could not understand uh, probably the judgment is maybe revisited uh, if anybody uh, notice this I, I think the judgment is in perquirium, according to me. Whatever it may be, you can also answer that uh, in your questions uh, by referring the judgments. Uh, whether uh, because 1981 amendment clearly says the police officer can uh, arrest him, and also uh, he has got an authority to uh, investigate the offence. Then. Uh, how uh, does the supreme court has passed the judgment is a uh, 1000 dollar questions so kindly go through the judgment 
see one thing is that you you, you can uh, answer you cannot answer wrong reference of law but you can answer uh, according to your logical presumption anything uh, the question is uh, uh, required to be answered but uh, your reasoning should be logical and uh, uh, on merits then you will get more mark than if, even if the answer was uh, uh, not convincing the uh, judgments already pronounced best wishes